you love her the same just because you didn't don't come. touch me <laughs> just don't because. talk to me. don't shh, don't touch me just because. don't don't <laughs> Just because you Okay, so you, like I was saying that you're like I was trying don't place a lower value on yourself just because you didn't come last year. You done? You're still amazing in every sense of the word. So <laughs> I honestly hate you. Demaya, I'm Shelly's and we are Bro Friends Forever. Okay, it's been a very long time since the last time you've seen us. It's been, let me look at my board. The last time you saw us was in March, right? Yeah. Yeah. It was spring break. It was March. Sheesh. Wait a minute. Yes. Yeah, so, oh, wow. It's May. Mm hmm This is embarrassing. I'm sorry. We, it, April and even May. Actually, April and May and March were the busiest months of our lives. And debrief. So basically... Since we last saw YouTube, we basically said that we were gonna have a video showing something that we couldn't yet announce. And that didn't really work out too well because when the thing was happening, we were having too much fun to even film. So we're just going to give you guys a long explanation on what we have been up to in the past few weeks. Starting with our trip to New York. The first one. The first one. The first trip. It all started in a car ride, and I was like, well, she brought up Hamilton, okay? And <laughs> how about that? Like that. And we, she was just talking about how much we like it, and it was a really good musical and stuff. And then I was at my grandma's house, and I played it for her. I played only certain songs, and some are explicit, and my grandma does not like cussing and stuff like that. So I played some for her, and she saw <clears throat> how excited I got about it and everything. And then we went to a showing of our was it her grandma got her tickets to hamilton if you wanna it was gonna be a surprise but she kind of her friend kind of spoiled it and she got it for me and demaya she got two tickets for me and demaya and then we went up to new york our friends came they didn't come with us but they were seeing hamilton the same day as we were our friend ah! maya lawrence and christian we love y'all squad gang 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 gang, gang. all right and we saw it and it was amazing. We got it signed by, I can't even read Lots of, okay. First of all, let me just tell y'all something real quick. So whenever we first saw Hamilton, it was like, first of all, I was freaking out, okay? Whenever I walked in and they were like, beep, go. And they like, they told me to go and I was like, oh! So like, it like, <laughs> like finally hit me, I was like, oh my God. So then I, I started crying. Lawrence was like, I think he was on the verge of crying, but whatever. Jonathan Groff came um, over the intercom and he was like, welcome, turn your phones off, blah, blah, blah. And as soon as I heard that, I lost it. Cause it was like, dun, 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 dun. And then I was like, ah! Oh! And then Leslie Odom Jr. came out. He's like, how does a bastard orphan? I'm like, ah! Like it was craziness. And then David Diggs came out. He was like, an every day while slaves. And I'm like, ah! That's like, her bed. That's her David husband. David Diggs is my husband. Yeah. Okay. We went to the stage door and we waited for like an hour. And the whole time I kept saying, all I want is David. Mm -hmm. All I want is David. All I want is David. And then I made friends with this little cute boy next to me because Jonathan Groff's birthday was the day before. And, um,. He had like a birthday card for Jonathan and we just made really nice friends at the stage door. But let me tell y'all about my God. So we were standing there, but there was like some girls in front of us. So I'm like, okay, I'm going to have to reach over them. But then they turned around because I guess they heard how excited we were. And they're like, we're going to leave. Do you guys want our place in line? And we're like, do we? So, <laughs> so those nice women left and they let us get in the front and people kept coming out. That and weren't David, that, that weren't David and I remember <laughs> when the door finally opened and I saw those curls come around the corner and like people started screaming and I couldn't scream because I was too in love <laughs> is this I think this is what love feels like and 
I was too in love and um, Maya was calming me down she's like no you can't cry you can't cry you can't freak out because they wanted to talk with him for a long time I'm like okay but I meet him and then I got to wrap guns and ships for him and he's like I mean I should audition for Hamilton but he found out that I wasn't 20 yet so. Spring break happened. Blah, blah, West blah, blah, blah. Side story. Yes. Then we did West Side Story way back in our second video. We introduced our friends. We did the well, most likely two challenge, and our friend Alexa was Anita. So for our school's West Side Story. So we did that. We had a whole bunch of fun. I had to wear a blonde wig. Yeah, and. We're about to <clears throat> we're about to be in our the Gene Kelly Awards, which is like the Tony Awards for our city, for all the schools around our city. And we got 16 nominations. Like So we are the Hamilton of Pittsburgh. <laughs> yeah, we're just like Hamilton from Pittsburgh. Like it's crazy. They got 16, we got 16. Regardless of what happens, I think it's a blessing in itself that we mm -hmm. got 16 whole nominations, including Best Actress, our best friend Alexa. Yes. Like, what the heck? Like New York trip, we went with our major, our, it was a whole theater major, 9 through 12, and it was so much fun. We got to see four Broadway shows. First, we saw The Color Purple starring Danielle Ooh. Brooks, Cynthia Erivo, and Jennifer Hudson. Amazing. Second, that was amazing. Amazing. Second, we saw Shuffle Along starring Audra McDonald and Billy Porter. Great. Also amazing. Yes. Third, we saw Eclipse starring Lupita Nyong'o. Oh my god. All the melanin. All the... And then for Excellence Everywhere. This is one of Broadway's most diverse mm -hmm. seasons yet. And the fact that I not only get to live during a time where it's like this, but I got to experience it firsthand. I It was just amazing and so overwhelming. And it was to the point where like... Even when there wasn't an emotional moment, I'm still in the audience sobbing because I'm like, these people look like me. Like, for example, for when we saw The Color Purple, oh my I was just, I was so in shock because there's this whole concept of the Broadway body. And the Broadway body is basically like keeping fit, making sure you're really, really slim because you never know what your character requirements are going to be. You want to make sure you fit into every costume they suggest for you. You want to be able to get lifted if you need to get lifted or if you need to do a fight scene, you need to be easy to throw around, things like that. So I was really, I'm really insecure about my body personally. Me too. Like, and but it's just something we fight with all the time. Like we think about it all the time actually being that we want to go into theater all the time and we think about how we don't have perfect bodies and stuff so so we saw the color purple and I so one third of my holy trinity is Danielle Brooks so I've been waiting to talk about my holy trinity for quite some time now so my holy trinity consists of Queen Latifah Danielle Brooks and Amber Riley they're all amazing actresses singers dancers writers, whatever you want to put it, however you want to put it. They're amazing and I love them all so very much. And the fact that I got to see Danielle Brooks live was incredible, especially for The Color Purple because it was an all black cast and there were different shapes and sizes like you got to see so many different body types on stage and they completely smashed the whole idea of a Broadway body. And after the show, um, Cynthia Rivo, Danielle Brooks, and Jennifer Hudson, they all came out to sign autographs. But Cynthia came out first and she was really nice. And then Danielle Brooks came out. And like, I couldn't get, it was just like when I met David Diggs, but worse. I couldn't get my words out. I'm like, Danny, Danny, Danny. And like, I could not get out my words. And I'm sitting there sobbing. So my friend Lawrence, oh, he's such a gent. He like tapped her and he was like, she like wants to say something to you. And I'm like sobbing and I'm like, I just want to let you know that I'm your biggest fan and you really help me and you really help me with my body confidence and I love you and Orange is the New Black and da 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 And then um, she started like crying and she was like, she was like, you have no idea how much that means to me. You like, you just touched me more than you know. Thank you so much, da 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 da, -da. keep pushing. And then she reached to the crowd because I wasn't in front. I was like towards the back and she like reached through and grabbed my hand. And she's like, what's your name? I'm like, Demaya. And then she's like, Demaya. And I'm like, Danielle Brooks just said my name. Danielle Brooks just said my name. So then she was getting a limo. She almost forgot to sign my playbill. And I called her back and then she came back and she signed it and she wrote a little message and it said, keep shining. And I will never, ever, ever forget that. 
that was the highlight of my whole trip. Went to go see Billy Porter in Kinky Boots. And then we found out that he was gonna be in Shuffle Alone this year with Oz McDonald and everything. So we went to go see him again to support him and also, and then we went to go see Eclipse. <gasps> Eclipse was phenomenal. Wait, before we talk about that, <laughs> Michael Ealy was sitting two rows in front of us. Mm. And he was- With his little bae, with his little bae. He has a bae. She's pregnant. But um, he had a bae with him. And during intermission, she went to the bathroom and I ran up and talked to him. Shirley's just, I don't know why. She, do, she does this thing where she doesn't talk to celebrities when she sees them. Because I don't, I don't, I can't, I don't, I don't, I can't, I don't know how to do that. I hardly know how to talk to people. Say, what's up? My name's Charlize. I think you're pretty awesome. Okay, but the, I don't know. I, don't, I hardly know how to talk to people, so I don't even know how to start talking to celebrities. That sounded really weird. Soon somebody will be saying that about you. And I think everyone should go see every single one of these shows. They were phenomenal. Color Purple was great. It te everyone Black teaches excellence. you. excellence. Every, each one taught you different things. So I really loved it. And then my darling best friend. Okay, so when we did the Pittsburgh August Wilson competition, she won second place. Regionally, is that what it is? Regionally? Okay, so regionally she won second place. And then the first place and the second place winners got to go to New York to compete nationally. So exciting, she met so many people. And after Eclipse, I, we... It was a very emotional send off. We walked like. up to the Willington and gave her off into her room, me, Alexa, and Maylin, and Melanie. And I was so sad because I parted with her. But I was, I started crying. Like they, they prayed for me. We all just sat there and prayed together because my roommate wasn't there yet. They make sure that they room us with people who aren't from our city so that we can make new friends, which is a great idea because I did make a new friend. Shout out to Rachel. Love even you girl. though, even though we gonna be roommates in the end of. Yeah, um, but I, I love you, Rachel. But um, we, we sat there and prayed and they basically just um, got me on the right, in the right state of mind. They gave me peace of mind before they left and they left and I sobbed because basically um, right after we saw Eclipse, I had to zoom over to the hotel and meet the people from the competition from Nationals. And um, so my trip was cut short with Kappa, but a new trip began with the competition. So the day, the next day, Kappa left and I stayed there with the people from the competition. But um, it was really, really cool. I met people from so many different cities, like all the competitors, everyone was just so great and there were all these different personalities but we all just seemed to mesh together as one which was really cool and the first night um we saw hamilton so i got to see hamilton twice which is like what like how but um i got to see hamilton twice and i was in the third row mm -hmm. and it was really cool and at one point during the show lin manuel looked at me and like kind of mouthed something to me during the cabinet battle which was really cool and um, I got to be with Mr. Kenny Leon, who was the director of uh, The Wiz Live. He won a Tony Award for Raising in the Sun in 2014. He's won more than one Tony Award. He's a great director and he's directing Hairspray Live this December on NBC, so everyone should tune in. Um, but he said to call him Uncle Kenny and he's really, really nice. And after Hamilton, we stayed back and had a talk back with the cast. But while we were staying back, I, I got to meet Jack Black, who was super nice, and I got to see Katy Perry and Orlando Bloom. Mm. It was like really weird, but they were they were holding hands and they were leaving. And um, Katy Perry said hi to my friend Irion, and she like freaked out. And um, we sat and talked back with the cast, who were so great. And it actually just hit me last night that I met Lin Manuel Miranda. But yeah, it just hit me in the middle of the night while I was laying down. But um. I, it was nice that I got to talk to Chris Jackson and Anthony Ramos because they both went to AMDA and they got to just tell me like some things that I need to be prepared <clears> for <throat> and the most exciting things and how I'm going to have the time of my life and they gave me some really nice words of encouragement and um, I was talking to them and then I got to talk to Lynn about my theories of how I think that Hamilton and Burr are Biggie and Tupac and he basically confirmed that for mm -hmm. me that that's what he had in mind while he was writing it which is crazy 
but um i got to meet them and i'm gonna just i'm gonna just speed this up real fast okay and then we saw the color take purple no don't want to take my time so then we saw the color purple and we had to talk back with that cast and i met about seven cast members from that who saw um who saw not who saw him I, was like, I met about seven cast members from that who went to amda because i had on my amda hoodie and they gave me words of encouragement and one of them is from pittsburgh she was born and raised in pittsburgh and she was just they were all just telling they were just giving me lots of information that i need to take to amda with me that i would never forget and i got to talk to jennifer hudson and i, I made her cry too which was crazy because i'm like why do i keep making celebrities cry but she I started fanning because she just looked me in my eyes and she was like, that was the best question I have ever heard. And I was like, oh my God. And like, I was like, what? She said that to me? <laughs> and um, then Kenny Leon was like bragging about me to them, which is really crazy that that happened. Cause yeah, but um, I got to talk to him a lot and it was really, it was just all blessings, just all blessings. And the competition came up and I placed third nationally. Woo! I placed third nationally and um, I placed with my friend Irion and the, um, the girl who won second place I can't really remember her name but she was mad talented like she had me crying like it was just crazy and then more sitting there taking pictures the finalists like we have our little trophies in hand and we're taking pictures and then I hear like this laugh, this distinct laugh that I know I've heard somewhere. And it was like this little squeaky laugh and I turn around and it was Loretta Devine. And she's like laughing and talking. And then she's like, oh, I just wanted to say hi to all the finalists. And I was like, what, like Loretta Devine? So I run up and hug her and she was like, I'm gonna see your name in light. You're gonna do big things. I'm so proud of you and all this other stuff. She said I brought her the tears with my monologue. And it was just so great cause I live in the Hill District of Pittsburgh, which is August Wilson's hometown, home neighborhood, where all his plays except for Ma Rainey's Black Bottom was set. But just to hear that from August, met a lot of amazing friends and God is just so good. I just, it was such a blessing to be on that trip. And after I got back, I gave my friends big hugs because even though it was great to meet all those people, it was just, it just made me have a greater appreciation for home and it made me want to take everything that I learned in that trip and bring it all back and share it with all my friends so we can slay together. And that's what we're going to do at AMDA. A-M-D-A. At my people, yeah.